Behind me, I have the R962i John Deere self-propelled sprayer. But there's something a bit different about this sprayer. It has the ability to use sea and spray. So sea and spray is where there's 36 cameras on this boom, which looks for a green and brown contrast. So the green is the weed, the brown is obviously the stubble, and when it detects a weed, it sprays it. So no more blanket spraying, no more um, full rates, it would just spot the weed. Better for the environment, less, more savings, it can actually save up to 70% uh, chemical costs. It's no limited runoff because you're really not spraying a lot and it's just better for the soils. It is an incredible sprayer. I have heard about this concept, but I've never actually seen it in action. And seeing it in action is amazing. It's also got the capability of pulse width modulation, which I will insert now. It's where it goes on, off, on, off, on, off in like a duty cycle. Um, and I actually managed to capture that in slow-mo. So I'll put that in now. amazing these sprayers the technology that has transformed just from the sprayer a few years ago to now see and spray is incredible again technology and science is a massive part of farming so if you're interested in any of these then definitely get involved for my followers watching maybe if you're a sprayer driver or even if you're not even in the agricultural sector what do you think of this machine? What do you think of the technology? So here on the camera, we've opened it up in the sea and spray and this yellow dot is where it's recognized um, the green on the brown stubble as, as a weed. So it's gonna go and spray it. So when we drive, we can see it where it's gonna spray all the way through. It's quite a good place to put it because you know we're right on the stubble. Uh, so obviously you're gonna have quite a lot of green underneath. We've got our two G5, uh, displays would you normally have two no as this is still a prototype yeah uh, it's not yet running on a tractor display that's why we have a universal Got it. one yeah and the other one is just an extended monitor yeah and then same as a well, just that's part of the tractor isn't it yep. and you've got this is it bolt on separately yep. it's bolt so on. The sprayer uh, um so this is what we saw sprayer, yes. In the 33. Yeah, that's for um, driving. Uh, but it's just bolted into the tractor, so you can use it like that. Is very kindly going to show me, uh, tell me how this sea and spray mechanism works. Yeah. So here you have the operating screen of sea and spray. Yes. Uh, it's a complex system, of course, with a lot of camera and so on, but we try to make it as simple as possible to use. So, first of all, checkbox to use the system. So now the Check. system is active. Yes. Next to that, we have row extraction. So now we are in a stubble field detecting the weeds. Mm -hmm. But we also can use the system in the, in springtime in row crops like corn, sugar beets and so on. Yeah. And then we are able to uh, eliminate the row crop from the decision taking. Row extraction is the it will look between the rows and take yes. all the weeds out between the rows of yeah. the crop. So it's good in like sugar beets. So it, it's still a conventional sprayer, so you still yeah. use the same chemicals because a nozzle will yes. left to right still hit your crop, yeah. but you only spray where there's really something instead of spraying your Got whole it. Field. Yes. So that makes the you you use less chemical. Yes. Uh, it's more accurate, more efficient. You don't have to fill up as many times because yep. you're just spraying where you want it to spray, yep. and it's better for the environment because there's less runoff. Yes. Okay. And what we have seen up to now in testing is that up to 70% savings are possible. But of course, that's depending your weed pressure in the field. 70% savings, that's pretty really good. Up, up, up to, to depending yeah. the weed pressure in your field. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, so, so then... If you do the row extraction yeah. with the row crops, you need to tell it also the space of the rows. Yeah. The system knows. Then you say, do I want one nozzle to be switched off or three? Or one or three? Mm -hmm. That's how big of a coverage you want to spray. Yes. Of course, when you have three, your savings are smaller than if you only use one. Yeah. 
um, like here in the dust detection, or in the, in the like here in the in the stubble field, uh, you can of course have the point on a dry day that it's creating some dust, which has of course influence on decision taking, and we've taken that into the software that it uh, when we check the box dust detection that it takes that into account in its decision making during night or darker mm -hmm. conditions when there's too little sunlight the camera is not capable of making a good look to the, to the, to the soil yes then the lights will illuminate the area ah. where the camera looks you see ah, you have the one, one camera per meter yes and with that also one light per camera got it got it and um, how much we... is the additional of having the scene spray on the sprayer um, so it's, it's, it's a hardware price and we have a, a subscription uh, to it. A subscription every year? Yeah. So we are in the 6,200 litre tank capacity, but it can go all the way up to um, 7,000 7, uh, tank, a big tank, so a very big tank. You can definitely get some spraying done with that then. Right, let's have a look at this um, going with the scene spray. So the blue is where you can see where it's spraying. Yeah, yeah. That's to give the indication how many nozzles are open, yes, yeah. and where in the boom are they. It's a 36 meter boom. We have a camera every meter. Yes. So, and then we have five control boxes, uh, which control eight cameras, did you yeah, say? One controller, eight cameras. One controller, eight cameras. Here's the cameras. This is what looks for the green and brown and um, shows if there is a weed there for it to spray. How many and this is a light intensity yeah, camera right. uh, we've got two of those on the boom uh, which looks for the intensity of the light so it can adjust for the camera so it can adjust and see the actual uh, contrast of the ground so here's another camera and then here we've got the height sensor so it uh, for the boom control so it, it knows when to go up and down